Fondling, f f f f f f fondling is back, yo. Okay, anyway, I'm terrible at rapping, but this is Breach and Clear Deadline. We are gonna fondle the hell out of this game, and uh, it's early access, and I wanna let you know, I have never played the original Breach and Clear, um, and this is, I guess, a new version, and of course, it has to be like, what are we gonna fight? Zombies, 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 zumba naders. No, zombies. We're just gonna call them zombies. This game is interesting because, well, first off, I never played the original, so I kind of went in just straight deep in, not knowing anything other than this top-down isometric perspective. As I started to grasp the controls, which are well a little convoluted, I think, just going in brand new, and the game doesn't teach me very well, at least in the early access version, how to to play. I, I, I slowly, over the course of playing this, got better at it uh, on my own. There's controls via the mouse or a controller, but for a game of this type, I, even being a console player, would probably play with the keyboard and mouse because I was having a hell of a time trying to use a controller. It wasn't bad. Most of the issues I had when I was using the controller was trying to aim at the enemies uh, to shoot at them. But you have this core unit of folks that you will be taking through the streets. Uh, and it reminds me of... It's like Zombies meets Rainbow Six meets Diablo. Like, just the whole, like, the top-down view. But then you, you're, you're holding these characters and you can breach and clear. You set up mines. You can blow zombies up. I mean, the premise is neat. Of course, if you like zombie games, uh, this is probably like a shoe in if you like strategy uh, tactic games as well. And it's interesting because it's not, you know, it's not like, in my opinion, it's not really like an RPG sort of thing. Uh, you know, it's really like you've got your units and you've got each of them have their special abilities and you're working your way through it in real time and you can then you can slow time kind of like uh in the recent dragon age inquisition you can actually pause the game like issue commands and then fast forward time or just let it go and see what happens and uh, that's always a cool uh, cool ability in games of these sorts because you know it's like sometimes when you're in the real time aspect of it it gets really intense really crazy and then you're like ah crap if i could have slowed it down just a little bit taking it back a little it would have been better I guess you could say so that gives you that options but obviously this is early early access game uh, it, it's still being developed they've probably got months left to make it if you want to check it out it's $14.99 to support it and they're pretty good with well I wouldn't say I can't really say they're pretty good with updates I mean it just came out but they've already have a recent update on the 23rd um, hopefully they'll continue to give updates for you guys that support it if you like Rainbow Six style of games and you like kind of like the tactics and of course you gotta like the zombies the zombinators uh this would be something probably to check out is it worth checking out at early access that's probably going to be your call um whether you support early access titles or not but either way if you do check it out if you don't but it's interesting you maybe check it out when it releases breach and clear deadline can be played right now for 14.99 thanks for hanging out guys thanks for watching the following video and uh yeah Always stick tuned to uh, ztgd.com for more of your latest, greatest gaming news and review. Ah, screw it. It's just reviews, really, and they're awesome. So, anyway, take care, guys. This is Justin out.